You've seen her on the NBC dark comedy, Good Girls, and I mean, it's dark comedy is kind of a weird misnomer, but I'll talk to her about that. <laughs> now in its third season, but at just 13 years old, Lydia Jewett already has quite the story. Lydia's here with me now. Good morning, Lydia. Good morning. Nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. Okay, I said dark comedy, but it is kind of a quirky, dark yeah. thing. These moms have turned to a life of crime mm -hmm. to survive. Yeah. What's it like to be on that show? I mean, it's amazing. Like, I know I say amazing a lot, but it really <laughs> is because um, uh, our first season actually filmed in Atlanta, and so we were all away from our families, and so we actually all became a family together while we were away from our families but then when we moved out to um, Los Angeles for season two mm -hmm. we all were we all were still having that strong bond but we had our families with us too and so that was really great but being on the show is just amazing at my age because like I get to see all these strong empowered uh, female actresses who like who have been in the business for so long that they know they know the drill and they know yeah, like what veterans, to do. Yeah. And, yeah, and so I, it's just so amazing being able to learn from them. Now, tell me about your role and how mm -hmm. you fit into this whole weird thing that these mothers are going <laughs> through in this show. Yes, uh, well, my character is Sarah Hill. And so she is Retta's daughter. She plays Ruby Hill's daughter. And um, ah, okay. yeah, and so Sarah is, Sarah is about my age. Yeah, she's so, so she's uh, about 12, 13 right now. And, um, Really, it's just, it's, she, uh, she's figuring it out about what her parents are doing and about the, like, how sketchy the situation is. <laughs> because <laughs> at so. age, I would think at age 12 or 13, when you're, you know, in real life, mm -hmm. you're questioning what your folks do and who yeah. they are and you're trying to figure out where you fit into all yeah, that, right? Yeah, when you're younger, you see your parents as <laughs> idols, you see them as perfect, but when you get older and you get about a little bit smarter, you pick up on clues and you, like, you can see the differences. Interesting to me because you, you have uh, an interesting relationship because you were adopted mm -hmm. into this family yes. and you have siblings and mm -hmm. so how does that dynamic work is it does it feel like it's something that you could translate into your acting I mean I feel like um it's, it's there are two different situations. I was I was adopted when I was four years old and I have such a great family. I have three siblings yeah. like you said and um Really, Sarah, I love it because I have a person who plays my younger brother on the show. Oh, cool. Danny Boyd Jr. So you can be I the big love, sister. Yes, for <laughs> once I can be the big sister. But um, yeah, no, I love Danny. And so, yeah, it's just amazing. So let's talk about Feel the Beat. Uh, mm -hmm. It's on Netflix. Yes. What's that about? Um, Feel the Beat is a movie about uh, this woman who played this, not woman, but she's actually about 19 years old. She's, uh, her name's April, and she's played by Sophia Carson. Mm -hmm. And there's a whole ensemble of girls, which I am included in, about teen girls, and uh, it's just, there's a lot of dancing. It's a movie about dancing. Oh, cool. It's, um, yeah, I think Do you like I to dance? Gonna, I love dancing. <laughs> I might not be the best at dancing, but I love to dance, yes. So, and it's coming out this next summer. I think everyone's going to love it. All right, so as you look into the future, what is it you really want to do? You, you hope your dream thing would be to, to do what? I would love to portray a dramatic role. Huh. Like, I would love to, like, the you know the when you watch something like a movie or a TV show and the person is playing that character so well that you can feel that emotion too, like it, it, you connect it to your own life. I want to be the person giving people that feeling. Like that's that's my favorite thing. I, if I watch a show, it's because that that happens every once in a while. And so I really want to be able to bring my heart and my emotion and myself to a role. Tell me about your, your like dream meeting. Who would you love, who do you admire? Oh my who would gosh. Who would you like to, who would you like to emulate? That's so hard because I, I, I there's so many, <laughs> there's so many people that question. I look up to. But I mean, I would say Ellen probably, Ellen DeGeneres, wow. because yes. she is just such an amazing woman. She's such, she's so powerful, but she's also so kind, yeah. and she's generous, she's loving and caring, and that's everything that I want to be. And she's good at dancing. Yes, <laughs> she's great at dancing, yes. Lydia Joe, thanks so much for being here. It's a of pleasure course, and best of luck to you me. as you continue with your show. You can catch her on that uh, show, Good Girl on NBC, and of course, on Netflix. So, great to have you here. Thank you. Continued Thank you success for having to me. you.